Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Tap Wizard 2. Today we'll reach stage 2 of the memory tree, get a bunch of achievement, make decent progress and talk about the future of this series. Cloak of the Time Master enables me to change one spell in the wizard's spellbook. Really nice, I'll be happy to use that. So the achievements will take a closer look for era 2. I talked last episode about the fact that they need to use electricity and poison, but the rest is pretty normal. These are for how many chest rolls I get, research projects, you know, I already have one here for enchanting. These are all easy. Okay, so kill a boss wall 100% without any spells, that would be with a dot. Level 5 perk, not too sure about that one. This one is easy, uh, way 50 with enchantment level 0, I will get it naturally later. I don't get this one today, finish reclaiming without dying, but I have to be enchanting level 200 or greater. This one too, it's pretty easy, all I have to do is sit there and have a lot of regen, so we'll get that today. I'll need rooms, that's not a problem. This one also will get it. Uh, all I have to do is dodge chest, not a problem. Die while upside down, I need a room for that, so I can't do it yet. I never got that room yet. This one shouldn't be too bad once I'm able to get 25 perk levels, I still can for now. And this is just cast speed bonus. And this one is beat wave 100 in less than 60 minutes. Alright, so it's not too too bad. Nothing seems unreasonable. By the way, we're gonna get one right now. Let's check it out. This one. So I was talking about that one. Level 200 or greater. Enchanting. You just reclaim everything, you're all good. So, not difficult. We got this one. And we'll get more. This is a new rune I've never seen before. And I'll get a few, I think, today. All right, this is a bunch of things flashing. It's time to awaken. You can see I'm level 18, the 25 perk thing, right? So I gotta be able to reach 25. That's why it's gonna take some time before I get this special achievement. The orbs, I'm still looking at the spirit engine thing, but uh, I'm going to, towards the end of the video, get another one. But let's awaken. I had to fast forward this part because I was undecided on which character to use. I'll use the same, but later on we'll try the one with the scythe. Sorry, I have difficulty with that word, but you know what I mean, I think. So here I'm going to use Winter's Coil, of course. My favorite one, probably. And we're gonna get started with a new run. And I'm gonna go in the tree, which is gonna be almost full that's why we're gonna reach stage two very soon and i'm gonna have a question for you towards the end of the video regarding stage two there's something i don't understand here i'm trying to choose a trait but i did not recognize them so i chose this one um, the strength of my special effect is higher i think if i read it correctly it was a bit fast and now in the winter biome this attribute spells, of course, not the shotgun, but yes, Toxic Bolt is the right choice. I'm not so sure why I was reading this, but just go with that. And uh, eventually I'll be using the ranged electricity one just to get more kills for the achievements. But there's no rush to get there. They will happen naturally. That's not a problem. And this acquired perk is useless, but it's not a problem. Okay. So let's use this one, plus one max splinters. And then we get, of course, another die. I never use them. Eventually I'll use them if I need to, but never felt the need. Maybe at the beginning of the series I did. So 40% more movement speed is what I want already knew that. Uh, I think I'll do some thinking later on, maybe not in this one and the next one, though I will be thinking on 
how to end this so reach 36 and eventually 40 then the 42 uh, so here i'm looking at some path that i want to do in the future but yeah we'll finish that tree and we'll have access to stage two if you wonder what that is if you didn't reach era two yet you'll see that's pretty interesting and exciting okay so what next what do we have here i'm trying to remember so i'm gonna equip everything oh yeah it's time to get special achievements here um so what i'm going to do is dodge all the chests i'll play manually here and we're gonna fast forward this and also i'm gonna get hit 1000 times and this is my chance to tell you a bit about the future of this series what i plan to do it's pretty simple it's just that i want to play way more it's super fun and i have to refrain at the pace i'm doing videos right now uh, i have to refrain from playing i don't want to refrain so what i'll do is i compress a lot of progress here's the 1000 hits i'll uh, include a lot of progress within each video which we be compressed um, i want to reach the point where i'm ready to go in era 3 for the moment when it releases so i have to play a lot for that because i don't know when it's going to happen here we go we got our 20 unclaimed chests and now it seems like it's time to awaken again and that was my goal for this video as i was playing i knew i was gonna at least fill the tree but i did not know there was going to be a stage two that's why i'm so excited that means era three four five six whatever there's going to be all sorts of trees very fun now do i use the same character or do i switch because this this ability i want to test i was talking about the scythe again i don't know how to pronounce it anyways um here i'm trying to think and i'm gonna go with this one so i'm gonna go exclusively with electricity and poison for achievements once again and i'm gonna try to test that uh, ring of death that's how it's called it's pretty decent it's uh, close to you a bit uh, similar to the ice spikes i keep forgetting the name winter coil i don't know anyways and these traits i did not recognize them once again that's because of the stage two of the tree which we'll explore relatively soon okay now in terms of spells, I'm gonna go range and AoE for both electricity and poison to help me get more kills for achievements, like this. And we're gonna take a look at the Ring of Death, what it does, see? So when I upgrade it, it's always there spinning non-stop. It's pretty good, it's pretty decent, but I still want to keep my fire and ice build as soon as possible time to choose a perk and if you look at the top it says level 2 out of 20 remember the 25 perk levels special achievement that's what I was talking about I cannot reach that yet there you go so let's go in the tree I'm gonna reach 40 but I'm about to fast forward this part because I wasn't sure what to do I was undecided so let's fast forward this here I'm clicking around to try to choose what I want to do with my six next points and in fact I'll leave for five days for the two last points so I'm gonna have to take some more so that's the choice I go for 40% uh, extra damage if the mobs do not have any um, special effect on so 40 out of 42 so the tree is almost full almost there new mob there you go Oh yeah, next clip is going to be from after the video because I forgot to attribute finally a spirit orb. I decided to try the enemies appear 1000% faster. And it's actually pretty good. I didn't really understand what it would do. Um, but once I chose it, all it is is the pretty much spawn all at once it's much faster and the zenith is still wave 24 so it's pretty easy to destroy them all and makes everything faster so up to wave 24 you just uh, steamroll everything so i like it i thought it would be 
a nightmare for some reason, but I didn't really think about the fact that it's pretty early on, so it's all good. Here I was showing that I left for five days. This is today in reality. Today as I am doing this voiceover and I am ready to uh, awaken for the last time in this stage of the tree. There's a code, a new code I want on Discord. Top Cog gives one respect token. I wish it would give me some in-game currency, but it's all good. I don't have enough for a ring yet. 145, I need 250. Here's another totem. Usual stuff, but there's going to be new stuff in a moment. I'm gonna awaken, but because I left for five days, I had to think on how to spend my two last points. First, I'm gonna choose a character, but I decided to keep it very simple and go with the uh, this character, which has all the elements. I think he's the best until, well, maybe in the future, I would go all electricity and poison again, just to get rid of all that and go back to fire and ice. So maybe it's one of the last time or the last time that I use this character because as soon as soon as I'm done making this video I'm gonna get back into playing the game as I said I want to play a lot. So I chose this uh, trait. No, not this one. This one uh, gives me two more perks and I'll be really lucky. Uh, you'll see the perks they give me. I'll be lucky. Oh, by the way, the music was changed. I will assume I'm not gonna get a copyright claim when I upload the video on YouTube. I do like the music, it's pretty good. Let's see how it goes when I upload the video though. Alright, let's attribute those spells. And here's a chest with the in-game currency. I don't even know how it's called, it doesn't matter. And we're about to click on the mirror. There you go, and there's something new here. The Great Prism. So what it's going to do is gonna give me some extra stats and unlock stage 2 of the 3. But first, I have to spend my 2 remaining points, right? So let's go in the original tree. And because I left for 5 days, as I said earlier, I had to think, how do I spend my 2 points? I honestly forgot uh, that my plan was to get exactly this at the top. But I was looking around to make sure is there other options. But no, that's what we're gonna go for. Okay, so the strength of my special effects is increased. And now my tree stage one is completely full at 42 out of 42. Now, let's go back to this great prison. I hit focus and next time I'll be able to do it is in era tree. So let's hit it. I get all these bonuses, right? And I'm reading this, trying to understand what's going on, but that's what it is. And next era, I'll be able to focus again, okay? But what's really great is that it opens up another tree, a brand new tree. I'm about to realize that, well, it does say it unlocks a new stage of the memory tree. And once I look at it, I'll be pleasantly surprised here we go look at that a brand new tree so i'm gonna have to check which direction to go and i will have a question for you as i said earlier in the video in reality if you look at the um, traits okay there's four traits i'm gonna have to choose a direction by the way i'm gonna go right this will give me 5% more movement speed and the chance to dodge. One of the reasons I go for that is because of achievements. And it's it's good. You move faster and you dodge. The others are interesting too, but I decided to go right. The thing is, they are isolated by two blue lines. You see the blue lines. We talked about that uh, in the past, that it was a wall. So I don't understand it. Does it mean I have to get both sides, every single uh, nodes on both sides to have access to that perk? And then the blue goes away? I don't understand why it's blue. 
for me blue is a wall so please let me know in the comment if i'm right about this so i would get i'm about to buy them i'm gonna go down because um below there's a thing that gives me more chest so that's what i want so i'm gonna go down i'm gonna choose a four bottom one then if i get the top ones does it give me access to that trait so that's my question if the answer is no then what do i do to get rid of this wall the blue lines okay so that's it so that's four out of 42 the next episode i'll make a lot of progress as i said i'm asking you but of course uh Right after this, I'm gonna try it out. I mean, I'm gonna buy the three top ones and we'll see if it unlocks it, but you can let me know in the comment and generate some activity on that video anyways. But that would be it. I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to do and even more because I did not expect to get another tree. Um, I just wanted to fill the original tree, but we're done. We're about to look at my stats. Well, we'll look at achievements too. The progress I made on achievements, we're going to look at the stats and it will be it. Here I'm going to enchant, of course, for 50. So I'm going to play just a little bit, but uh, look at that. That's what I was talking about, how lucky I was. These are three perks that they gave me, all for the right ability. But then I'm going to go for poison. All right. So now we're going to look at achievements and stats and that will be it so the Arab one achievements were doing pretty good but still have to do the 1000% movement speed I'm gonna need a lot of rooms for that for dodging I'm not worried about that either and this is my progress on era 2 achievements so we're doing pretty good and I'm curious to see how much progress look how close I am for electricity stage 1 at least but yeah I'm really curious to see by next episode how much progress I would have made I want to, as I said, insert as much progress as possible in each video in the future. Things will be much, much faster from now on. So those are my stats, as usual, if you're interested in those. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.